Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to show you that you can actually make a very basic um, vape bod, uh, mod box, I guess you would say, um, without the need to solder. Um, this is my first attempt at a, a mod box. Um, I don't know how to solder. I, I, I'm still trying to learn, but I was anxious to create something. So, um, you know, I just kind of I put some thought into it and I realized, you know, what, it's just a matter of connecting wires. Uh, one way or another, you just find a way to connect the wires. So uh, I borrowed some alligator clips um, from my buddy at work. And I did this here. Um, trying to get the, all this stuff out of here. Obviously, it's not pretty. Obviously, there's going to be some stuff shaking around in there. But, um it functions um, this is a 510 connection I bought off of eBay for about I don't know four or five bucks um, this is a switch a momentary switch uh, I got a radio shack for maybe two or three dollars um, but I, th I think that this is a part you can easily get out of any old device you can just just take it out of any device that has an on off switch or uh, any kind of switch that uh, a momentary switch and you can pull it out of there and recycle that. Um, so I'm using my phone camera here. Um, everything is clipped on. You see the positive leading up to where it needs to go. Um, as you can see here, momentary switch in there. You can't really see that too well, but it's working. It's in there. The, the pre wired 510 connection. Everything is clipped on properly. Um, I got a, the battery pack from Radio Shack, that was about two or three dollars, um, and I actually use batteries based on um, a website called uh, I think it's Puck Box Box Mod. So this would be kind of like a extreme variation of that. Um, these batteries are 2,400 mAh. These are rechargeable, and each one is 1.2 volts. They're applied in series, of course. Um, so at the end of everything, uh, the optimal voltage output would be 4.8. Obviously, we all know we don't get 4.8. We don't get optimal voltage uh, even at full charge. But it's you, you figured it's going to be definitely above the 3.7 range. It's probably going to be more like 4.5, 4.2 at full charge. Um, amperage should be fine. Um, like I said, this is a 510 connection. I'm actually using my blue e-cig um, cardamizer here just because I don't have a true 510 connected um, atomizer. Um, for some reason, they're all ego threaded, um, which I'm gonna, you can get an adapter on eBay or, or FastTech actually. Um, I use a washer here just to kind of stabilize things, but it still didn't come out too well. You can see there's an angle to it, <laughs> a really bad angle to it. But this is my first attempt, and I wasn't trying to be perfect. I was just trying to get the function to work. The box itself, I, I got out of a, a thrift shop. I believe I bought it for a buck. Yeah, it was a dollar. Um, and as my first attempt, I think it's good. I mean, you know, it, it's, a, it's a big fatty. It's, it's not something I'm going to be carrying around. It's just for me to go, hey, look, I did this. I, I, I made something, you know, that works. All right, so let me just throw this all back together. Let's slip everything in there. Sorry, guys. And once again, have one hand on the camera and one hand trying to do everything else. Of course, I need to have my. I need both my hands for a moment. Give me a moment. Uh, okay. So I'm slipped everything inside. So nice and neat. Close this up. It's not gonna. Stay, it's not a perfect closure, but it'll, it does a job. It kind of seals itself with that little lip there. Again, this is not something I plan to carry around. This is just something I plan to just use for fun. I'll probably dismantle it in the future. This is just my first attempt without soldering. And let's see if it works. All right. One second. Yes, it does. What's best about this is that, um, like I said, these are rechargeable batteries. Um, 
I mean, I guess you could say this would be a a, a, a do-it-yourself poor man's way of doing this. Um, but I think it's fun. I have some ideas for the future. I definitely have to get the soldering thing down. That that would definitely decrease a lot of the space. Obviously, decrease the size significantly. I'm hoping to make a dirt 18350 um, box in the future. Um, and um, all right, guys. Thanks for watching. Bye.